Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ETS2 In the previous episode Oh man, that sky is beautiful <laughs> Sorry Lost my train of thought And that wind turbine is just adding to the scene Love that silhouette in the sun rays Anyway, in the previous episode we ended up here in Copenhagen We are in Denmark now And now I found a job I found a job going south because eventually where I want to go is uh, so we're here in Copenhagen we're going to get the job to Berlin going south because eventually I want to go to Vienna to Vienna here in Austria because apparently this has been remade as well with Promos 2.2 and uh, from the screenshots I've seen it looks magnificent I think we'll have a look at that and maybe later on we'll have a look at this trip of Germany I think these cities definitely are new in Promos 2.2, this strip here. So maybe we'll get there as well. But one, first things first, uh, maybe we go to Austria and then I don't know where. Maybe to Croatia next. Because we haven't been there in the series. We've looked at it briefly in the streams, in one of the streams. Clumsy trucking streams, but we haven't gone there in this profile with this truck. So maybe, I don't know. We'll see and I have uh, some uh, announcements to make regarding the next coming weeks. Alright, anyway, let's get started there. Uh, 5 hours 47. It is night though, so it, it might be a nighttime drive unfortunately, but we'll see. We'll try to do what, what works. But at least, we get to drive in that beautiful, beautiful sunset. Are we here? I think we're here, yeah. This is the pickup point? No, it is not. Right, it's actually the other way, the the neighbor. So let's get to it. Is it Postnord? Probably, huh? Yeah, probably. Turn on some lights here. It is getting dark, and maybe change the gear first before we want to go forward. Anyway, all right. So anyway, guys. Really glad that you're liking the truck as much as I am. And uh, happy to see that there are a lot of Driving Bro fans here as well. I think we have it more or less nailed down. It's not perfectly Driving Bro's truck, but it's pretty close. And I think that's good. So we'll be driving with this truck for a couple more jobs. Get some money in. And then when we get enough money, maybe we'll switch trucks. But I'm actually waiting for something something from the SES. If you guys have seen the blog post, they said that the next-gen Scania is in its final stages. So I'm expecting, I'm hoping, it releases in the next coming months. The coming weeks, maybe. We'll see. Right, that's where we're going. Uh, milk, 15 tons. I think we can modify the, this, uh, yeah, this one. So, which one do we like? It's 15 tons. 2-2 two, two could work. Let me try having like a 1-2 setup like this. I think that should be enough. 3 axles, maybe. Yeah, let's let's just take a small one. Okay, that's good. Milk 40 ton, 14 tons. Berlin. Take that. Actually, I haven't driven yet. I haven't driven those tandem setups without a dolly. Apparently, that's a real thing as well. But... Uh, yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I would assume it feels a bit different, especially when reversing. It's, it should be easier, I think. That's what I'm thinking. But maybe we'll have to try one of these days, one of these jobs, yeah? Do you say? Let me try to align with this trailer first. I think this might be an awkward position. Yep, very awkward indeed. I can't see it at all. Maybe we'll adjust first and uh, let's try not to force it. Okay, there we go. That looks much better. So let's align ourselves. And now let's reverse. And that should look good looking good so far 
I think. It's pretty aligned to me. Perfect. Textbook trailer alignment. Nice. Looking good. The only difference with the Driving Bros truck is for us, we actually travel outside Scandinavia now and we take his truck with us. Looking good, sounding good, thanks to Krish Boom's Volvo Stock Sound 2.0. That's in the mods list in the video description if you wanted to have a download. And I really love that sunset, man, that looks so good. Let's look at the ETA here, 12 hours, 7 hours driving, that's 426 kilometers. I hope I won't snag that post behind. Barely missed it. Okay, good. Let me have a look at the map here. Okay, looks like we'll be discovering some new things. Too bad we were missing that one. I would have wanted to, sh to, to have a look there. And apparently that's Germany already. Isn't it? Yeah, it's Germany here. So this is Denmark, this is Germany. But for us, we're going to Gedser. And then we'll be dropping off. Maybe we can stop by Rostock, why not? Yeah, go that way. Go around. And then drop by and end that up in Berlin. Yes, why not? Let's get going. Anyway, on to my huge announcement. <laughs> So I kind of uh, miscalculated something, guys. I hope you don't hate me for it. But um, remember what I said last week? That I was actually recording already in advance because I was going to be out end of September and early October? Well, that's still true. That's still true. But um, I actually miscalculated something. So I mentioned that I was going to be out for two weeks. But actually, I was going to be out for two weeks after my business trip for a week. That means I'll be out for three weeks in total. Sorry about that. But I was talking with my wife uh, last weekend and uh, we were clarifying it. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Are we out three weeks? Am I out three weeks? And then she said, well, yes, if we're out from 29th of September, all the way until the 15th of October. Oh crap, that's just the signal going straight. Alright, we'll stay for this one. Yeah, if you're out 29th, 25th of September rather, all the way until uh, 15th of October, then yes, you're out for three weeks. And I was like, oh crap. So that means guys, within those three weeks from September 25 to October 15 there will be no streams unfortunately and uh, unfortunately because I only have a week left and I don't have enough advanced videos in my arsenal that means we won't have me we won't be having daily videos unfortunately really sorry about that but yeah and so only so much I could manage Let's just see if we can fit in here. Yeah, no problem. Good. Looking good, alright. And looks like that sunset is ending. Slowly becoming full night now. Yeah, so it'll be out three weeks. I won't be able to manage to make daily videos, unfortunately. The best I will be able to manage is every other day, if even that. So, uh, sorry about that guys, but do expect a bit of slowdown in the channel. But at least that will give you some time to catch up with the streams, with the videos. Because I, I do have a lot of videos. I've been making daily videos for... Wow, nice train. I've been making daily videos for... I don't know. Almost... 4 or 5 months straight. Without any misses. And... Uh, not only videos but twice a week two out of those seven videos a week are like three hours long so if you want this would be the perfect opportunity for you to catch up wouldn't it 
<laughs> that's my excuse. No, no, that, that's just something that can keep you occupied if you're craving for more vi more videos in the channel. Uh, yeah, you can catch up on the clumsy trucking streams. Those are like three hours each. And uh, we do have a lot of interesting conversations there with the viewers, with the, the, the viewers in the stream. The only unfortunate thing there is you'll get to see my face, which would be pretty unfortunate for you, but... <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, there's that option. And yes, I'll, I'll still try to make daily, not daily, but maybe every other day videos, I'll try to release them. If I'll be able to manage that, we'll see, but I'll, I'm try starting to do my very best to make videos in advance. One more thing that's uh, not going to work is if something releases within those three weeks that I'm out. For example, if New Mexico releases, if the next gen Scania releases, I won't be able to test it out because I'm out. But don't worry, I will catch up right after I get back. So I'm sure I'll be super envious about you guys when you uh, show off your your maps or your screenshots with the new things if ever th those release I have no clue if anything will release alright I don't have any insider information or anything like that but yeah yeah let me know how it goes uh, but yeah I, I'm kind of I'm half hoping that nothing releases but that's a bit selfish that's for just for me for you guys of course I do wish that something releases in advance why am I only in the 11th gear? Go to 12th gear, boy. There we go. Good thing there's that auto adjustment uh, thing. You can override the gear, even in automatic. It's nice. Right, good. Oh, nice bridge. Even if it's dark, you can still see it. Actually, I like the lights as well. I think this is the first time I've seen the lights from the vehicles, the headlights. Because they did change that. If you guys remember, they did change that a bit. How they look, like those things. And I remember initially people were complaining because they were too small, they were too weak, and they didn't appear like real headlights. But now that I'm looking at it, they do look pretty nice, like that one. That looks pretty realistic to me. I mean, maybe not, still not perfect, but I think it's it's a good. Look at that from the side mirror. That looks so good. That looks so good. In the cone of the light, just showing off. That's without any mod, so that's just default behavior. I like it. Yeah. From time to time, it does pay to uh, drive in the night just to see what's different what they came up with now and I think that particular change is a step towards the right direction oh what the heck sudden braking no. did they hit each other not quite but almost yeah look at that super slow there must be a super heavy truck there hauling something. Yeah, look at that, like 10 kilometers per hour. GG. Hmm. Come on, guys. Bro! <laughs> what speed are we at? The speedometer can't even recognize that speed because it's too slow. Look. It's like flat out the needle. <laughs> All right, so we'll, I think we'll be in here for a while. I wonder what truck that is. Oh man, this list, this feels like a procession. I'm not sure if it's uh, famous as well with you guys, but in the Philippines, when I was still living there, and when you're in these small towns, because we're uh, we're a Catholic nation. So each town had like a patron saint, was named after a saint, and those saints had their feast days. And whenever that saint 
had his or her feast day the people would celebrate and it would be a fiesta is what we call it and so like during that day or that week even people would be preparing all out stuff for him like really preparing all kinds of food even to the point of loaning money from other people just so they can have something to prepare and uh, make it special now I'm not saying I approve of it it's not practical definitely imagine to the point of having to loan from other people oh rip <laughs> okay don't tell me you're gonna hit me as well don't tell me you're gonna hit me as well good <clears throat> that's brilliant AI behavior moving uh, moving in reverse like that that's pretty smart they actually fix themselves so yeah look at the sky it's pitch black now maybe we can do some like moon spotting before that though let me see if my trailer won't okay it's behaving properly good well we can actually see the stars that's pretty nice yeah we don't get to see a lot of these let's see if we can find some Oh, there it is. Wait, wait. Is that a new moon? Man, we can't see anything, but... <laughs> Man, yes, we definitely haven't seen that before. That's also from foggy weather, guys. And this is what Kirill was talking about when he was saying... Uh, there is also moon phases implemented. So that's not fixed, depending on the time of the year, on the time of the month. That moon will become bigger as needed and right now it's like a new moon the smallest one sometimes it will be full moon depending on the moon faces yeah so how do i take a photo of that is that going to work should i like maybe make my field of view smaller i think that should be enough like that <laughs> that is pretty nice so even at night you still get to see something it's really cool I like it only thing is if I make this a thumbnail you guys might not understand what it is but you're grown-up guys and girls maybe I'm not sure if any lady is watching but you know what that means you know what that looks you'll be able to de <laughs> to decipher that that looks so awesome let's have another look at it oh man that looks so good and with the stars and the the shade of the sky looks so good i'm half like expecting a spaceship to just come out like mass effect whoa bro no stopping whatsoever that was a bit dangerous all right good good but this is this is this is this is a good move i was uh, actually a bit hesitant to drive in the evening but yes it turns out we haven't really explored the evenings that much so this is a perfect way to uh, explore it and see what foggy weather has to offer even at night that's how beautiful it is oh and by the way guys if you still haven't joined this episode i think should come out before the second giveaway draw so if you don't know if you're not familiar with what's been happening and i hope i didn't just jump topics right but let me know if ever and i think we'll have to gas up there i'll have to fuel up on that yeah here let's fuel up here getzer has been discovered nice so wait a sec go up and fuel up so if you guys are not familiar with what's been happening in the channel last week that's around 15th of September actually did a giveaway of the foggy weather closed beta and let me just simulate this okay our guy is opening the car inside now seat belts yeah and open the engine perfectly timed <laughs> 
so yeah I've been I, I gave away a few of the five copies of foggy weather well not really copies but access foggy weather is a mod it's a free mod I think it's going to be a free mod but it's not yet publicly released so as you guys know for a couple of episodes now I've been playing with foggy weather closed beta and uh, it's so good but the only thing is it's not available for everyone yet because Kirill is still implementing some stuff and he's not quite ready to do a public release yet but what he did offer is to give 10 people access to it and so I gave 5 of those last week 15th of September and the other 5 is still up for grabs I think by this time really by this time by the time this video releases so go check out the video go check out the VOD the stream footage the video I have the three hour long video I have from the 15th or 16th of September which says FW 2.0 giveaway foggy weather 2.0 giveaway right? and there should be a link there that will enable you to join the giveaway that giveaway is valid until the till when 10th no 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 yeah the, the the giveaway is valid until the 22nd of september that's during the clumsy trucking stream at 10 a.m singapore time that's around 10 p.m eastern and to 4 a.m CET europe time okay that was a bit unexpected did i just encounter an invisible wall there I did. Alright, did I... Why? Is that an invisible wall or a vertical clearance thing? Not really sure. The thing is... My trailer is not liking that at all. Oh, it's because I... I shouldn't have gone there. I should have gone to the right here. mistake should have gone here and looked at the signs okay that should be good I think right this is for the trucks cool I'm looking for the sewer plate I think I have to get inside actually be inside let's see Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So yes, feel free to join the giveaway, guys, and good luck to everyone. I'll be drawing the winners during the actual stream. Good. So let's go to Rostock. Is that right? Yes. One hour, 45 minutes. It should be pitch black by the time we get there. We are in Rostock. We are now in Germany. I think so. And yeah, it's still pitch black, but we still have that beautiful moon right there. So where are we headed now? To the right. Alright, good. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, cool. So how far away are we? We are 257 kilometers away. Okay, that, that's manageable, I think. And I remember we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to drop by Rostock. We're going to discover the city and going to unlock a discoverable there as well. Probably a truck dealer of some sort. Maybe an MAN dealer. I don't know. We'll see. Right now as well, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I'm more leaning towards more using the retarder than the engine brake. Not sure why, but the engine brake sometimes is a bit too loud for me, and the retarder is just more reliable in my opinion. It's quieter, it's stronger, it has more levels. So it's 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 uh, like that one. 
I, I like the, the sound of that as, as we glide and as we slow down bit by bit. But then, I still couple it together with the engine brake when necessary. I also like how, ma how they made it. I think this is with the latest update. That when you have the retarder on and you step on the gas, the retarder actually turns off. So they don't get in conflict with each other. Which is something like the, the engine brakes as well. So I'm glad they put that in. Because that's pretty useful. And whenever you release... Okay. That's perfect positioning actually. Can't see the lights. Alright, there we go. <laughs> and whenever you release the, the gas, the accelerator, that's... Uh, the the other triggers. Triggers back. It's a pretty nice effect and I think that's pretty realistic because that's consistent with other simulators I've played. Like in OMSI, that's how it works. Yeah, it is pretty dark. But it does give us a very different perspective of how the game looks, right? So it's a nice, it's a welcome change. And we get to see how beautiful the, the lights are at night. That city, that skyline, it's pretty nice, huh? What does this say? Rostock? Sud? Is that Sud? Maybe? Speeding? Not really. Oh, yeah, it's 78. Let's increase the cruise control to 80. And just enjoy the trip. Yeah, I think we're going to exit at the next one. Here. Looks like it. Yep. At least I have an idea how to read signs. <laughs> this out cruise control uh, retarders and engine brakes and service brakes we'll need some help with that as well and good thing I looked at the left otherwise it would have been clumsy trucking again uh, I think I'll go first because you are so slow mister I hope you guys are seeing something here. That GPS does look amazing, doesn't it? Really love that. Garmin GPS mod. If you guys are interested in getting that for yourselves. It's the Garmin GPS mod. It's in the mods list. The mods list link is in the video description. So enjoy. And all the mods should be in there as well. All the mods I'm using. straight nope looks like not is that gonna climb there climb the curb a bit it's fine minimal I like this truck it's a classic truck but it's not too old you know it's ha it has that perfect feel of stability and classicness to it and actually, perfect mix between being classic, a classic, but also being modern at the same time. Don't know how to explain it. That's a, that's the best I can manage for now. Are we in Rostock? Yeah, we have discovered it. Only thing left to do is to discover the, 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 the discoverable. A bit redundant, but you get the point. Ooh. How's that dash cam of ours doing? Dash cam is doing great. Driving bro style. Although he doesn't really have a dash cam to see. He has a head cam. But it, it, it's good enough. <laughs> I mean, how, how else can I show a dash cam? A head cam? This. Did that car just not stop? Wow. Well. Well, guess who lost there? Oh crap, it was me who lost. Got 1% damage there. How come we got 1% damage when I didn't even hit the car with my trailer? 
maybe I got that 1% damage in the dock when I was hitting that uh, vertical clearance thing. Crap, that sucks. Anyway, that's fine. <clears throat> as long as it gets there in one piece, we'll still get something. And slow down. We are right on the edge of the speed limit. And this is a Renault dealer. Speaking of Renault dealer, Sheng has been telling me about this beautiful sound mod from Krishbom for the Renault Magnum Integral, was it? I'm not really familiar with the different Renault models, but I'm not a fan, especially of the Magnum, because of its super box type layout. But let's turn on our high beams here. Actually, that's not all of them. This is all of them. So the, the headlights up top are open as well. The, the high beam is up top at the roof. Wow, that's heavy. I think we should be going straight. Route 20, Autobahn 20, A20. Actually, both of them are 20. Interesting. But we're going straight. Just what the map says. Alright, fine. Okay. It's getting a bit too bright at the moment. Ooh, I like this. Look at that junction, guys. It's like the most gradual junction ever. We're actually turning left. But it's happening so gradually, you don't even see it if, unless you look at the GPS. So like it feels, just feels like it's curving up. That's really nice. And here we're just gliding. Beautiful. Two cars, thank you. Oh, that, that was awesome. That was a really nice junction. That was a pleasure to drive in. Cool. Looks like we're coming up yeah, in another intersection. And I think this time, I can't really see it in my GPS yet, so I have no clue what to do. I think this time we are turning right. Yes, we are. Okay, cool. And I don't think we'll have to slow down, but we'll see. I don't think we have to slow down. Or that might have been a bit too fast. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Good. Yeah, with the truck, that might have been a bit too fast, to be honest. I was a bit uncomfortable there. But we made it in one piece. So I'm not complaining. And... What the heck is up with this, guys? Okay. Looks like the truck up ahead having a bit of hard time uh, pulling that load, hauling that load. I might need to overtake it if it doesn't improve. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. How far away are we? 156. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Too bad we can't admire the view so much, but uh, there is a certain relaxing feel when driving at night that I can't quite explain. You see the, the different cars approaching, the headlights, and all those lights just merging together and forming a completely different scenery than what, of you, what you would have gotten if it was daylight. There's something, I don't know, strangely relaxing in it as well. Or maybe I just try to find a relaxing point in every single thing. Maybe. But that's what's all what's that's what chill gaming is all about, right? You have to find ways to uh, let go of the stress and just enjoy wherever you're at. And so that's what I'm doing. And hope I hope somehow that is getting to you as well. That feeling is seeping into you as well. Is this what's talk? Dos or Dose? First time I heard about those places. 
then again I am no German expert brilliant there we go 24 is that like the the BAB 24 I remember asking you guys about that like the, what's different with the B like Bandes Autobahn it's like a state something right it's a state, state autobahn which means like it's one of the major autobahns I think that's how you could interpret it basically right can I go stay here or should I no I can stay here okay good no lanes dropping off look at that did you see that truck went right and then went left I think I am approaching the truck quite a bit fast there we go now he's pulling up again I think he lost some speed because he he, he went to the right and he merged back into the left he was just as lost as I was <laughs> I'm not alone but it might not be a good idea to uh, drive next to each other it would be like the blind beating the blind Good, good, good. Let's keep at it. Let's have a look at the sign. Berlin, 103 kilometers. All right, looking good. Oh man, I'm just looking at the sky again. Even if it's so, it's so dark, it's not entirely pitch black. You can still see some details in it, like the stars. You can see the horizon. Okay, turning to that dark blue. I really like that. It's so relaxing to see. And the moon, the moon was just magnificent. I love that idea. I don't think there was a moon, even a moon before, in the default SES skyboxes. I first saw that moon in ATS, in foggy weather. Also foggy weather, but for ATS, when he first implemented the moon. And since then, I think he's implemented so many different kinds already. Not just a single type, and as I mentioned a while ago, it depends on the moon phases. And that's why some people have been really excited to get a copy of the Foggy Weather mod. I'm really not sure if they have received it already, because how it works with the giveaway is, I basically have a giveaway. 5 people win, actually 10 people will win overall, all in all. And uh, you guys will, the winners will give me their emails. Can we stay here? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think we should be able to. Let me have another look. I think we should, yeah. Yeah, let's stay here. That's right. This is right. Yeah, this is right. So I'm not sure why that truck had to move things. Anyway, what how, hap how it happens is the winners of the giveaway have to message me in some way via Twitch, via email, or however, whatever, however it is, and give me their email addresses. And then I will provide the email addresses to Kirill, the maker of uh, Foggy Weather, and he'll email them separately to provide them a link for the download of Foggy Weather Closed Beta. Now along with that, I guess there comes like a, a clause that should be sharing this outside, you know, the common stuff. Slow down a bit here, just one level of retarder. Just to keep things in line. Not too fast, yeah? Not too fast. That should be good. It's the right amount of risk. Surely I could have afforded that without any braking at all, but I was, I was a bit uncomfortable. Because we are hauling a pretty heavy trailer and not even braking, not even slowing down a little with that kind of bend does make me a bit uncomfortable okay, what's happening now? Are we turning right or something? we are approaching a city, I'm not sure what city that is okay we're going straight though Kaiser Dam cool ooh, looks like a very humongous city is this pro mods? probably, huh? So it does look pretty detailed. Oh, this is Berlin now. Now we're actually approaching Berlin. It's very, 
very nice. Awesome. I, I love that junction. So many different things happening. It's a bit scary, but that's how it should be. Driving through these humongous autobahns. Love that. Alright, and it seems like we're still in the right way. So that's a good thing. I would have expected us to get lost by now, but for some reason, for some magical reason, we're still on track. Hopefully it didn't jinx it. Good. And look at that, we're in the 11th gear again. This guy just was, doesn't want to go to 12th and do that manually. There you go. And now we are exiting, I think. Yes? Yes, alright. Good. Full retarders, full engine brakes. Because we are approaching a sharp 90 degree turn. Anyone there? Nope. Good. Volkswagen. Nice ad. Let's see what kind of parking this this will give us. I hope it's not too hard. I'm half hoping it's just a straight one, but am I up for the challenge? Are you guys up for another thir another 30 minutes? <laughs> not really sure. But we are now in Berlin. Doesn't look like Berlin though, this part. Maybe it's like the industrial area. That could be. Oh, actually, you're giving way to me. Nice, thank you. How oh, nice, people in Berlin. Right, so we're delivering this. Uh, what was that? Humongous hump there? To Nigel Group. Which is... Where? Oh, there, I think. First here on the left. Oh, it's this one, the left. Okay. Okay. And we get to pick a parking spot. I think there is a reverse feature here. Oh, crap. That's the one. And the hard thing about that is it's super dark and it is. It requires a blind side reverse. Do we get that? If I will plan that, I'll probably just do it in third person because I haven't gotten to the point where I can park blind side a tandem yet, a double trailer. It doesn't work for me. But let's try. Let's try it. Worst case, I'll have to skip it, but at least we we gave it a go. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> maybe 30 minutes and we're done. Maybe if we're lucky. We'll see. You guys might have seen this already. I think I showed it to you already. The cones here are different now and there. The back cones are reflecting. So, even if it's pitch dark, pitch black, you know where you are at least. And then that turns to green when you're in the right spot. Can I force it like this? I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt that will work. Whoa. Some kind of bar happening there. Cool. Right. So now that I've done this, what do I do now? <laughs> I have no clue. I'll just go third person here. <laughs> yeah, nightlife. Nightlife hype. Alright. I hope this doesn't take too long, but uh, not really sure. So let's see. That's the target, those reflecting cones. That really helps a lot. And now we have to turn our trailer to the left. So I steer to the right. I think that's how it goes. Do it slowly, do it gradually. There you go. If 
not too much just shell it is that working that might be a bit too much actually but let's let's see okay it's a bit too much but that's good progress here the secret to this is keeping it really slow so you can do minor adjustments look at how how much that's turning it's actually too much so if you try to do this fast it really becomes a challenge with this dolly setup and a minor thing a minor error could land you so much delays so the, the slower you do this, the easier it will be because uh, the faster you do it, the less time you have to react and the less time you have to react, the more you have to repeat it. Okay, that looks good, that's turning. That's not turning enough though. That's not turning enough now. Right, so let's do it like this. I turn my steering wheel to the right again. Try to make it turn to the left. Okay, and I try to... There we go. Looks good. moving and I think I have to turn more to the right so that's not turning enough if we look at it oh music <laughs> I hope that's not copywritten or anything that's not looking good for our dolly let's reset it start from here and then let's try to turn in sharper right that looks good that's a bit too much I should be able to counter that like so oh it's really hard to maneuver this isn't it looking better still not perfect that's a bit too much now but maybe I can I can make it work somehow like that as much as I would want to play that music that's a bit more excitement I'm not sure if that's safe or if that will get me flagged for copyright okay that looks good It was going so good, but I didn't adjust it in time. So I can do it like this. And uh, I turn to the right here. And then I bring it back, maybe. That's too much. Crap. That was so close to that. But maybe we can just. Okay, good. Now the music 
like it's full. I can't even see. Okay, let's try to counter steer that. And then try to bring it back. Looks good. And then we straight reverse. That looks good. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Phew. I think that was just the uh, perfect thing. Good work though. Hmm. Yeah, we got that damage somehow. I think the dots. That was my fault. But uh, what can we do? Right there. So let's sleep there and let's end the episode. Oh, Reve. I know this, Reve. This is apparently a pretty famous uh, supermarket in Germany. Went to there. Went there a couple of times when I was there a few weeks ago. That's when I discovered that yes, it's a real thing and it's actually pretty famous. Maybe we'll drop by in the next episode. We'll see. Cool. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay. So maybe let's sleep and then let's continue next episode with daylight because I think we've had enough night driving it, it's nice from time to time but should change it up a little just a good mix would do. where the heck's the line? I have a bad feeling about this oh there it is good Stay on the edge, why not? And we are good to go. Oh, you can hardly see my truck. But that's good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that nighttime drive. We are in Germany now and we're going to make our way through to Austria, hopefully. Depending on, on which jobs are available. Oh, and let's sleep. So we can get some sunlight in. That would look nicer. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. That lighting looks so good. Spot on, super realistic. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, alright? Clumsy trucking. And yes, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. And uh, feel free to comment. I'll be looking forward to those. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Clumsy trucking, and bye bye. Have a nice day.